Hi, and welcome to our walk in closet. You may enter. This is where Saya and I get dressed every day. Saya, put your headband on. Look how pretty. Look how pretty. Look. Where, where you going? See, Saya loves the mirror already. So if you ever come in my, my closet, you'll always see fingerprints on the lower part. See? You look so pretty. You look so pretty. Yes. So, first I want to start over off in this corner here. This is just like my boutique style. Everything glam. Make you feel good about yourself. This is not actually the perfume that I use. It just matches. So I have it here on my dresser. Um, I have the little pen from the college that I graduated from. Touches to make me feel connected. I know that I could have put my degree in here, but it didn't match my decor, so I have that little pen to say I did it. Here, these are the feathers that I carried in our wedding. My mother made this for me. So it's it has two um, symbols. It represents two th major things in my life. One, the day that I married my king, and two, the fact that my mother handmade my bouquet for me. Um, this is just I look in the mirror check check I look in the mirror click click <laughs> and I have no absolute understanding why I have this here but it's just cute and it's frilly so I have it here oh and this is a coaster that actually matches the doorknobs that my husband had bought for me I don't know about you, but when I'm getting ready in the morning, I always have coffee. So when I'm between Saya's closet and my drawer, I just put my coffee right here and it doesn't ruin my dresser. Now when you open the first drawer, I have all my underwear color coordinated because it's easier for me to get, you know, go, get right in and determine what it is that I want. I don't have to rummage through. So for me, color coordinating things just makes everything so much better. And in the bottom drawer, I actually keep my lingerie and my bralettes. Now, if you don't know what a bralette is, you have to join us in the 21st century. Because what a bralette does for the, the mini girls is it's like when you put on those little tank tops and you don't want to show your bra straps. The lace on a bralette is so pretty and girly that it isn't so wrong with you showing the straps. 
So the vase I got from Hobby Lobby. The lips I got from Home Goods. The lip mirror from Home Goods. I actually got this tray from At Home, which is a store I've never ever heard of before I moved down here, but it's phenomenal. I got my little ball decor from Hobby Lobby. I got this makeup case, which I'm not. I have another one in my personal bathroom, but for this one, I just thought it was pretty to have here. Um, I got this from Home Goods, and I purchased the coaster as well as the door handles for my drawers from Anthropology. So, guys, this is Saya's closet. On the top shelf, we have Saya's sweaters, which she doesn't have many of them because she lives currently in a warmer climate. Her shorts and her stretch pants. I'm transitioning all the um, everyone's hangers. Baby Sharif and I typically already have our hangers, but Sai and Dad are still transitioning, so she does have some mismatch hangers for now. But that won't be. I have her dresses here. The clothes that are too big for her are in the back. Her jeans are in the middle. Her tank tops. Well, not her stuff is is organized by tank top and by age. So right now this is like 12 to 18. This is 12. This is 6 to 12 because she's kind of in that in-between stage. So her closet is organized according to that. This is Saya's first china set that her Mina brought for her. This is her very first purse that her dad and her brother brought. This was her welcome to the world gift. And this is her very first major piece. Of course mom brought that. The only sunnies that she'll keep on her face, the rest of them are in her drawer. And just her little girly stuff. She's got bracelets in the back. I actually used a bracelet holder for her headbands and such. And at the bottom where the rings would go, I put her barrettes. I don't know if you can see that. See her barrettes? I just clip her barrettes right back on when I'm done using them so that they don't they don't get lost. Let's see. It's just an easier way to keep everything together and you know where it's at. I have this stool that I use to stand on things but to match my room. I haven't found one that I love yet. So I'm just using a little Walmart stool. But I keep it inside his closet because it matches her theme a little better than mine. Now, I got the books shelf from Ikea. It was only $29. And each and every one of these jewelry boutique style um, holders I got from Hobby Lobby. The necklace ones were $7.99. The bracelet, this large one, was $19.99. And this one was, I believe, $7.99 as well. I got this from TJ Maxx, the letter A. I thought that was cute because it had both of my colors in it. And I just put a couple of my statement pieces out because all of my jewelry didn't fit onto the shelf. So for my bracelets, I put um, all the bracelets that, I, that are current. That's another tip you want to do. Make sure that when you have your closet set up, you only utilize the thing, you only put in your closet the things that you utilize the most. So whatever is trendy, whatever current, whatever you most wear or you're most likely to wear are the things that you want to have in your closet and everything else you want to scrap. So here I have all my bracelets according to the shape of them, the ones that need to stay in their form I have here and the ones that are flat and I just tie around my, my, my wrist, I have here. Now this necklace is important to me because my husband bought it for my 30th birthday. So that's why it's front and center. So and these are my rings. This, I like this necklace a lot because I wore it on a photo shoot when I was pregnant with Saya. I was like, it was, I think it was in the week that I first came out and told people that I was pregnant. So that's an important piece for me. And here in these baggies, um, I keep my jewelry in these Ziploc bags because it keeps them from becoming dusty. I think it, it just makes your jewelry last a little longer because costume jewelry does have a tendency to fade. So I just keep them, um... In a, in a single sandwich bag or a snack bag depending on the size and I don't put them together with anything else because I don't want them to bunch together and damage. You see the ones that are larger I put in the sandwich bags and these are just my most current pieces that I'm more apt to wear and finally on the bottom here which I messed them up this is the very first uh, gift that my husband bought for me these shoes my husband was quite frugal and he bought these shoes for me so 
I like to um, keep them keep them out and I dust them up and make sure they don't get messed up. What I'm looking for is a glass box to showcase them in. And then finally we have my little desk area. Every every A to me means Ali, not at. <laughs> it means Ali. The at symbol we purchased from West Elm. It serves as a coaster for my husband when he pulls the chair up and he joins me here at my desk. And this book here, my mother brought for me for my 25th birthday. And it just, it's inscribed to my daughter, to my sister, to my best friend. I love you. You have made my life easier. And she has my birthday on there. So, um, and again, another coaster, just in case when I'm sitting at my desk, I want to have some coffee or something like that. Now, I got my desk from Ikea. It was $39.99. My chair I got from... TJ Maxx, it was $179, but it's so worth it, guys. It's so comfortable. It's like, Calgon, take me away. Every time I'm in it, I'm just like, I love it. I literally do. And I like to put my feet through my rug <laughs> that I got from um, Hobby Lobby. So I got this one from Hobby Lobby and this one. I have I got this from Hobby Lobby too when Saya was born. This is what we actually used to lay Saya on when she was a small an infant to take her pictures. And this is also another way I know whether my husband or my kids have been in my room. They don't know it's a little trick, but I fluff it every time I get up, and if it's flat, I know that someone's been in here. Over here, this is my body mirror that I got from IKEA also. What I like about this mirror is it's wide. I like the fact that it, it reflects my shoes in the background and um, it was $49.99 which is not bad because these things are literally like $200 so finding one for 50 bucks that was a one behind it are my clothes which is not a big deal um, because my space wasn't as big as my next closet will be I just moved this out of the way whenever I want to get to things over there and you will get an example of that just now Oh, my curtains were purchased at Hobby Lobby as well, and two came in a pack for $39.99, which was a steal. Uh, what I like about my curtains, I like how they droop on the floor like this. I like to gather up the material and have them bunchy. I think that's really chic and sexy, so it's like a flowy dress to me. It reminds me of a gown, so that's why I did that. Now I have my, just like my underwear drawer, I have my closet color coded because it's just easy for me to know where things are and it's, um, it's all uniform so everything is the same way. So these are my blouses and it's whites and creams and peaches and brown and then purple and blue and green and yellows and mustards and reds and fades off into, this is a pink, I know that it looks like it belongs here but guys it's really pink. And then I have my black and white stripes, anything that's mixed up, and then my lace tops, black, anything with black mixed that's here, and black blouses. And then on the bottom, I have my pants organized the same way, same color schemes, anything mixed, anything fancy. These are my dress pants. Underneath here, hiding, these are outfits that I purchased as outfits. These are my sweaters. These are my summer sweaters. And hiding their, their pair of flip flops. But my black pants, these are my most worn. This section I'm in the most because I'm mostly with my kids. And so my ripped jeans are here and then my plain jeans are here. I have more ripped jeans than plain because I love ripped jeans. Then over here I have my blazers and my little throws. And it's all organized the same exact way. But what I will, what I'm gonna do probably by the time you guys see this, this will be this yellow stuff. It's dated in my opinion. I'm not gonna wear this stuff, so I'm going to either give it to my little cousin or give it to the Goodwill. That's what you have to do. When you're not using something, get rid of it. Someone else, it can be a blessing to someone else. So this whole section will probably more than likely not exist anymore because I'm just not into colors. And I, even if it comes back, I don't think I will um, wear them again because I'm over it. Y'all, I got this really, really cute vest from um, some store at home, Francesca's, back in New York, right before I left. I can't wait to wear this. I am so excited about this vest. So it's just sitting here waiting for me to wear 
Um, and I like to have my hangers organized a certain way. When you have the same uniform hangers, it just makes your room look cleaner. It makes your clothes look organized when everything is going in the same direction and there's even space between. It just looks more organized. There's nothing I can't stand more than a closet that's just chaotic. It's disorganized. Things are everywhere. It's totally unacceptable. Uh, my husband has a trick that when he uses, just to stay with me, when he uses something, he puts it up like this, which you guys will see in my, um, I redid my husband's closet vi video that's coming. But he puts the, the hanger up top so he knows exactly where that piece of clothing goes when he puts it back. And I think that's that was really a good idea because I can't stand the blank spots. It drives me crazy. But anyway, and then on this side, I have my dresses. Just the most frequently worn dresses or the things that I can forecast myself wearing in the near future here. Now up top, these are my my neutral pants, my whites and my beiges and my olive green. Those are jeans and pants that I see myself wearing like to the mall and stuff like that. Here I have my skirts that are stretchy material, more like cotton. These are my sweater like skirts. They have a little more shape to them, but when you put them on a hanger, they get the hanger lines, which is totally unattractive and very hard to iron out. So I found that folding my um, skirts and things like that, it just works better. And here are my leather skirts and my wool ones, my textured skirts. Again, everything is just about being able to easily access your clothing and knowing exactly where to go. So that's what this system is for. And here are my dresses like the one I have on. My one-piece dresses that they're just really simple they don't need a whole lot of ironing the shape is already here and then at the tip top these are my least used items these are my jumpsuits and my one pieces and these are like pants that I may or may not wear I'm not sure yet so they're up here also I have my sneakers at the tip top that's what that little step stool is for um, these are the things I work out in these are the sneakers that I hang out with my kids in and I go to the gym in. So they're in plain sight for me to, from the door, go, oh, that's what I want to wear. We got the closet racks from Home Depot and they were $189. And this space, I didn't quite know what to do with it, so I just put my flip flops here. And at the very bottom, I have my jewelry. And I keep them in sandwich bags as well, and it's color coordinated. My the bulk is gold on this and black on this, and in the middle there's just like all these random colors. And I keep everything in here, all my jewelry, my necklaces, my earrings, all in these bags. And then on the other side, I have my pearls, everything I wore on my wedding day, um, my silvers, and the my son's game pieces I have no idea why they're in there and the blues and the teals and the greens here and here I have occasionally I'll put like a bunch of earrings that are not stringy all together so that's there and then here I got this beautiful chair now what I did notice about this material is like a like a teddy bear it kind of ruins over time so if you guys are thinking about getting something like this just keep that in mind that the hair on here does change and lose its form I got this chair from Marshall's for $2.99 and yes it was worth it it's a very comfortable and I felt like I needed something to have in here for when my husband was visiting me so that's what that's what that chair is for this this is we'll start with my bags i have more bags but i still left them in buffalo as well as like five boxes of shoes well five bags of shoes with boxes in them but anyway my nursing pump who knows the Ali's may have another so that's there my bride bag it's just these just things are just special to me that although i won't be utilizing them anytime soon i like to look up there and know that i have kids and i'm a wife um here is just tucked away Every place that we've ever gone to, we we get these little refrigerator magnets. But I don't want this to look this. I don't want this decor in our kitchen. So I haven't quite figured out where I'm gonna put these yet. But I want to know where they are. So I have them in my sight. So it's tucked away. But for me, I know what they're for. And then I just have my black bags, my mixed bags, 
this is actually my college degree that I'm trying to determine what I'm going to do with it. So that's why it's sticking out because it, it serves as a reminder. And my gray. I have my hats here from winter to summer, whatever season we're in. We're going into winter, so I put those up there. I don't know what the winter is going to be like here in North Carolina, but who knows? So what I've done in my purses is in order to make them be firm like this and to save space, I've put all my summer clothes into my, my bags. So I have shorts and tank tops and little summer skirts and things like that right inside the bags. And I know exactly where everything is. Then I have my shoe collection, which to me is very small, um, but I couldn't fit another shelf in here. So I just put the shoes that I wouldn't mind looking at every day in my view. So I like these shoes. Maybe I'll wear them, maybe I won't, but they're cute to have on display. Um, these are my favorite books that I read often. It wouldn't be a girl's closet if you didn't have a pair of street style books, so that's there. But I really enjoy reading, so whenever I'm in here and I have free time, that's what I do. And these are my shoes, all, again, co color coordinated. It's the same idea like with my clothes, just in order to keep everything consistent. It's here. So, so moving along, oh, I got my bookshelves from Walmart for 24 bucks. And we ordered more shelves and they were addition they were an additional five dollars I believe. But what I did discover is I mean I don't have a whole host of flats, so ordering more shelves really doesn't serve me that great of a purpose. So for right now I'm not. And another thing I wanted to tell you ladies, if you do have bookshelves as as um, shoe holders or shoe racks, if you when you put them in, if you set them in opposite directions but on the opposite side see like so this is what they really look like so instead of doing them like this if you do them the opposite way and put this shoe on the outside and this shoe on the inside and you move them up it saves space who knew it's something about the arch in the shoe that it serves as a little pocket see when you try to put them together you see how tight it is if they were all like this it wouldn't work and look at all this extra space look look on the first one you didn't have any room now look there's room so that's how I got five shoes on one shelf it was and, and it's not like too confined I love this now I turn my shoes backwards because I like to see the backside and the front because you have a shoe like this that has all this beautiful artistry happening on it you want to see that but if your shoe is facing out you can't see it this shoe has beautiful artwork on the bottom again you wouldn't be able to see that if they were. So I like to see the little sparkles on my shoes. So. Okay, so then the final things I have in my, my closet office boutique. I have a few clutches here. Some of the other clutches, again, I still have to bring stuff here from New York. I left a whole bunch of things at my mother-in-law's house. So um, my clutches will go here. I have my sunglasses here. I do the same thing with my shades as I do with my jewelry, just to keep them from being dusty fingerprinted I keep them in these little sandwich bags and when I'm ready to use them I just grab them toss them in my purse and I keep the sandwich bag with me and I fold it down so that you really can't see it when it's sitting here like this and Saya never bothers these sunglasses amen and then I have this bookshelf from Wag from Walmart which was hmm how much was this one $12.97 yeah this one was $12.97 too and I keep all my shirts in here. I have the blacks and the mitten, the anything with black in it, blues and greens, all my nudes. These are my camisoles, whites and tans, and the red and the yellow and the orange. So if you think that some of the things that I did in this office were cool, hit the like button. If you found that you can take some of my tips and use them at home, hit the like button. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.